In this video, I'm going to find out how well Skyrim runs on the Pimax 8K and on the Pimax 5K Plus on my GDX 1080 Ti computer. And then I'm going to compare the experience with the Vive Pro on exactly the same computer. And all of this is coming up. Hi and welcome to MRTV. My name is Sebastian Ang and if this is your first time here and if you're just as excited about VR and AR as me, then subscribe now and click on the bell button so you don't miss anything. Welcome to the next video of my video series where I try out popular games on the Pimax 8K and on the Pimax 5K Plus on my current GDX 1080 Ti computer and where I compare them also with the Vive Pro. Again, just like in the first video, you can find out about my Pimax rig in the description below if you want to find out what exactly this computer consists of. And again, just like in the first video, I'm going to use the microphones of the headsets that I actually use. So at the moment, this is the microphone of the Pimax 5K+. Plus. But you know what? Without further ado, let's go into Skyrim and we start with the Pimax 5K+. Plus. All right, so here we are in the main menu of Skyrim VR with the 5K Plus. And I can just tell you, this is unbelievable. This main menu has never looked so good. I've played this on the PSVR first, then I played this on the Vive, the Vive Pro and the Samsung Odyssey, which was already much better than on the PSVR, but this is just incredible. So again, I'm playing on Pi Tool setting 1.0 on Steam Super Sampling at 100% and well, let's first have a look at the FOV. So let me show you the FOV that I see right now. We start here and you only see a cropped version of what I see in VR. So just to let you know, so I can see until here. This is my FOV right now. And well, yeah, this is on the normal setting. Right, there's still a large setting, but I prefer the normal one because then you have really very, very little distortions and that is really, really good. Yeah, um, I'm going to check the, the frames per second as well, of course. So here in the menu, while we have, yeah, 91 frames per second, average frames per second, 90.1. But we'll see how that will change in the game. I am on high quality settings for the game, the highest possible. So that should be quite taxing and well, it already looks fantastic. Looks really, really good. Good, but now let's go inside. Let's go inside the game, check out clarity of the picture, check out SDE and check out what the actual game does to the frame rate on this GDX 1080 Ti rig. So let's continue. All right. Here we are. So I think this is a very nice scene to check out to check out the yeah the graphical fidelity because it looks it looks really amazing. I mean I love Skyrim. I think Skyrim looks fantastic, but to see it like this with this huge FOV, this is really how you want to play it. It is truly, truly amazing. It is just how you want to experience Skyrim. It is just such a huge difference as compared to, yeah, as compared to how you've played it before. Wow. Truly, truly incredible. So yeah, let me walk around a bit here. So it's great to, this area is actually really cool because it got yeah, lots of bright colors and also there's going to be some white where I can perfectly check out screen door effect because for the white backgrounds, you will normally see that more easily than on colorful backgrounds. For um, how smooth everything is running right now, it's very smooth. It's very, very smooth. It's pretty awesome. Let me show you that I'm really on the high quality settings. So uh, let's go to settings and let's go to VR performance. So as you can see, quality preset high. This is the highest. Shadow quality high. 
so I am on the highest quality setting in Skyrim and well it looks amazing it simply looks amazing it looks super clear on the Pimax 5k plus wow so nice really so nice so let's go up here and yeah so here here it's really perfect to check out for screen door effect since we have this wide area here so let me tell you i have a hard time to see the screen door effect it's it's really it's hard to see the screen door effect is just so good here and again the clarity i can see everything super clear it's truly a joy so i've been running around now for a while right with high quality settings and now we can have a look again at the frames per second wow average fps 90.2 FPS 90, 91, so this is running at a constant 90 frames per second with high quality settings. It looks amazing with a huge FOV on my GDX 1080 Ti. And again, have a look in the description of this video to find about about to find out about my computer, to find out about the components that I use to make this happen. This is truly incredible and you want to yeah you want to experience skyrim like this wow fantastic yeah so the the colors the colors look nice the colors look really good let me let me find some dark things here okay yeah okay that's not really dark but i saw it when we were in the menu the darks are not as dark as OLED panels, but in my opinion, they're still very, very acceptable. Yeah, it looks fantastic. All right. So we talked about the FPS. We talked about the FOV. We talked about the clarity. We talked about the little SDE. Yeah, it's, it's basically a dream come true for all the fans of Skyrim and you really want to experience it with this huge FOV. In terms of distortion, uh, let me also check, let me also do this, this wiggle test that I did on the first video. So let me hold that. No. So with the 5K Plus, the world stays perfectly, perfectly where it's supposed to stay it's not wiggling around you around you it stays exactly where you want it to be even if you do fast head movement yeah that's the great thing about the constant 90 frames per second distortion let me walk around a bit that's the great thing about the normal fov they have cut the part on the very right and the very left where you had this distortions for the large fov so it is really hard to see i don't think that this would be a problem for anyone so and i'm very sensitive to these kind of things so that is no problem at all you can still see it if you if you try to find it you can still see it but it is really really not a problem at all all right Let's go over to the Pimax 8K now. All right, so now we're here in the main menu of Skyrim VR, but this time with the Pimax 8K. And of course, it also looks really, really incredible. We have the same awesome field of view. Let me show you that again here. I'm also on the normal FOV here. So I can still see it until here. Yeah, that's it. So let me show you that. It's, it's amazing. It's just as amazing as on the 5K Plus. So um, just now when we went into the menu, when everything is black around you, I did feel that the blacks look a bit better on the 8K, 
than on the 5K Plus. Like a little difference, a very, very little difference on the plus side for the Pimax 8K. But I can also tell that the text is not as sharp as on the Pimax 5K Plus. Well, we know that by now already, right? Don't we? Um, what else? So let's have a look here at the FPS. All right, so we have an average FPS of 79.5. Yes, going to the to the maximum of 80 that the Pimax 8K can do. So yeah, it's 10 or 11 hertz frames per second less than the Pimax 5K+. Plus. So um, also here, before I go into that, let me do the wiggle test. <laughs> One of the other weaknesses of the Pimax 8K. Yeah, and here we have again, like the world is slightly moving with me when I do fast head movements. That is truly the one thing that I really don't like about the Pimax 8K. And most probably it is because, well, the signal, the signal, it still needs to go through the upscaler. So there's some time lost. And well, this time is probably where the picture doesn't, yeah, doesn't update fast enough. So you have this slight, yeah, wobbling when you do the fast head movement. So the world does not perfectly stay in place. So that is really a weakness as compared to the Pimax 5K Plus where we don't have this problem at all. Yeah, so also so you see 11, 11 frames per second less every single second. All right now, but now let's go into the game. Let's, let's um, compare screen door effect. Let's compare clarity and all these things again all the same settings high quality settings pi tool 1.0 um steam super sampling at 100 percent continue all right good yes <laughs> i mean you will also have really a good time in skyrim with the pimax 8k right I don't want to make you feel bad if you got the Pimax 8K or if you have already backed it. No, you will also have a great time. But I simply want to point out the differences that I see here. And that is why I'm making these videos. So that somebody told you, right? So let's walk around here as well. And let's go the same way up. The same way that we went also with the Pimax 5K Plus. So for the colors, they do look great. Um, you know, it's always tough to see a color difference if, if they're not side by side, right? So. I, I like the colors on the Pimax 5K Plus and now I like the colors too. But probably if you would see them next to each other, then probably you could see a difference. But just like now, I think the colors look really nice here as well. And yeah, let's walk up here again. Okay. Yeah, you will enjoy this too here with a Pimax 8K. No question about it. It's just spectacular as well, right? This world, this living and breathing world, to finally look into it like this. I mean, there's still some like borders, right? Right and left, like as if you're looking through like a ski mask or so, but it's not anymore this binocular thing. It's just so freeing. It is incredible. So, let me also check it out here. Yeah, that looks good too. That looks great too. So, now here, in this area, I like to use this area to check out the screen door effect. Um... 
Yeah, well, again, from my perception, I perceive this diagonal structure, subpixel structure. I perceive that as more disturbing, <laughs> if I can use that word, than the horizontal structure of the RGB stripe matrix that the Pimax 5K Plus is using. But the differences are not really huge. Probably your perception is different, right? But from my perception, I perceive that diagonal structure as more noticeable than the horizontal structure of the Pimax 5K Plus. But it is also minimal. It is also really, really minimal. And yeah, it's still great. Let me see how the wiggle is here in within the game now. Yeah, yeah, of course. You have this little, it's moving a bit with your head if you go for this fast head movements, which kind of pulls you a bit out of immersion if you would do that all the time. I mean, how often do you do this in the game, right? Seldom. So if you just play normally, I don't really think that this, this pixel persistence problem would really be a problem. Anyways, but it's there and well, I'm here to tell you about it, right? So that you won't be surprised about it. Yeah. So how about distortions? So the same thing applies to the Pimax 8K, right? If you really look for it, if you look to the edges and then move your head, you will see a bit, but that is not a deal breaker at all. I mean, it's just so awesome to see this world like this, with this FOV, so really, no. This is really not a, not a problem at all. And believe me, I am very, very sensitive towards distortion. So yeah, that's just so, so nice. Yeah, frames per second, 80. Average FPS, 79.8. So yeah, you have a very constant 80 frames per second. So again, it's like 10 or 11 frames per second less than on the Pimax 5K Plus. Is it still smooth? Yes. Absolutely, the only thing that you will that you will see if you wiggle your head, yes, the world moves a bit with you. But I don't think you're going to do this kind of head mo movements very often. Other than that, in terms of clarity, it also looks nice. Text is not as clear as on the Pimax 5K Plus. But will you still enjoy this here? Yes, you will. It's just so nice all right now it's time for the vive pro all right so here we are now in the skyrim vr main menu this time with the vive pro and well what can i say well the first thing that i can tell oh my goodness the fov again it is just so small it feels just like i put toilet paper rolls in front of my eyes and that's how my FOV is restricted. That's just the first thing that I see right now coming from the Pimax and tough to believe that I enjoyed that before. Yeah, it's just a fact. But I can also tell you that, well, the blacks, they do look better. So before I went to the main menu, you have this moment where everything is black and wow, it is truly black. There is a huge difference. That's for sure. And um, about the clarity, I can very clearly read everything. It looks as good as on the Pimax 5K Plus. And yeah, definitely just as good as on the Pimax 5K Plus, just that it's very restricted. So yeah, why don't I start with showing you the FOV here? So let's do the same test again. And the FOV goes until here. This is the FOV that I have now here with the Vive Pro. In terms of uh, frame rate, yeah, we have a uh, constant 90 frames per second. Average frame per second is 89.7. So yeah, we know that, right? This is the maximum 
of the Vive Pro. And we're going to see if that changes when, once we go into the, into the main game. Um, for the colors, I think right now I can tell you already, it looks good. But I will tell you more about the colors once we're really in the game. Let me also do the wiggle test here. Yeah. Okay, the thing is, the VR world stays perfectly in place, just like for the Vive 5K+. Plus, but the headset itself would wiggle around like crazy. That's crazy. We don't have this problem with the Pimax 5K Plus or with the Pimax 8K. So that is truly funny. Anyways, let's go into the game now. Oh yeah, the blacks are nice. So here we are. Here we are in Skyrim. And also, it is beautiful here too. Skyrim is simply a beautiful game. And it looks very nice and very clear. Just like, oh my goodness, who put those toilet paper rolls in front of my eyes? Really, now I can see it so clearly after I've seen the Pimax headset. So, yeah, now it is really tough to unsee them, right? Once you have, once you got rid of them, then you go back to the Vive Pro. It's so tough to unsee that binocular view, that toilet paper roll view. It is, it is tough. Anyways, let's walk around a bit. And hello there. Let's take the same let's take the same route there, go down to the water and then go up to see yeah, to the snowy area to compare the screen door effect. But I can tell you it looks clear and the colors, yeah, for the colors even if it, even if it's not side by side, I can tell you the colors are more vibrant on the Vive Pro. Absolutely, and the blacks are nicer. So yeah, this looks good. Just you have this toilet paper roll view. So dear Pimax, how about a Pimax Deluxe with OLED panels? What do you guys think of this? That would be truly, truly nice. Okay, getting to this area here. And yeah, things look clear, things look nice, and we're getting to the area where I can have a look on the ground and everything is white. Let me go a bit higher. Okay, Mr. Bunny is here too. Yeah, here, here is good. So in terms of SDE, also very little SDE. Um, I can still see it if I look at it, if I look for it, and then it is very comparable to that SDE of the Pimax 8K because we have a very similar structure, this diagonal pentile structure, just as we have it on the Pimax 8K. So that is very comparable. That is very, very comparable. So yeah, very similar to what we have with the Pimax 8K. So just to let you know, if you come from the Pime, if you come from the Vive Pro and then change to the Pimax 5K Plus and to the Pimax 8K, I don't think you will feel like, wow, everything looks much clearer. It's very comparable. The clarity is very comparable to the 5K Plus. It's just like the FOV, which is so dramatically better. And that is a huge, huge difference. That is truly, truly a huge, huge difference. Um, okay, what else? Yeah, the wiggle test. Yeah, everything stays perfectly in, 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 in place, just like the headset wiggles around. Yeah, it's really just that that FOV is just so small. That is truly, truly the eye opener once you go for the Pimax 8K or once you go for the Pimax 5K+. Plus. Again, my choice is clearly the 5K+. Plus. If I compare the Vive Pro and the 5K Plus. Let's have a look at the frames per second. Yes, 89.8. .8. You see, <laughs> performance-wise, the 5K Plus is exactly on par with the Vive Pro here in Skyrim on the highest quality settings with my GDX 1080 Ti. So with the current computer, it's not even the best graphics card. You get exactly the same performance with that huge FOV and 
very very comparable clarity settings cl clarity probably a bit better on the Pimax 5k plus however not with these deep legs but it still looks very good so my choice definitely i can't go back to that to that small fov guys once you go wide fov you can't go back all right that's it for the vive pro and it's time for the conclusion so here is my conclusion. As you've seen, Skyrim works perfectly on the Pimax 8K and on the Pimax 5K Plus on my GDX 1080 Ti machine on the highest settings. We have 90 frames per second on the Pimax 5K Plus. We have 80 frames per second on the Pimax 8K and everything is just super smooth. Now comparing that to the Vive Pro, it also runs at 90 frames per second, but well, you have this small FOV. So I think it's rather surprising that the Pimax 5K Plus runs at the same 90 frames per second, but on that huge FOV. That is truly, truly amazing. So if you wanna play Skyrim, on your GDX 1080 Ti machine, you can do so. And again, check down downstairs in the description, check out the components of the rig that I use. So for me, the choice is clear. I wouldn't even touch the Vive Pro anymore if I have the Pimax 8K or the Pimax 5K Plus. For me, again, you know, I prefer the Pimax 5K Plus for because of the clarity. But for people who have the Pimax 8K, they will also enjoy the experience. It is just so much better than the Vive Pro simply in terms of that huge FOV and also the very, very comparable clarity just on the whole FOV. So simply a joy to use the Pimax headsets with Skyrim and everyone who loves Skyrim needs to see Skyrim with that huge FOV. All right, that's it for this video. I really hope that this was helpful for you. If yes, give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you're not, not yet subscribed to MRTV yet, do so now. And also, please do let me know in the description below which games do you want me to check out for you on the Pimax 8K and 5K Plus on my GDX 1080 Ti. That's it for now. Again, hope you enjoyed it. And if you have not yet subscribed to MRTV yet, do so now. I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode.